Hi everyone, I'm Count Christo and today I'm going to show you a trick in EU4 to take the best screenshots or make the most cinematic looking videos. Uh, this trick will give you full control over the camera, allow you to pan from side to side at fun angles like I'm showing you here, or you can kind of zoom in from a long distance, you can look at things at all kinds of different angles you wouldn't be able to do. It's generally pretty cool. Uh, for this trick you will need an Xbox controller connected to your PC. Uh, it might work with other controllers, but I don't have any to test it with. This was pointed out by someone on Reddit recently, and I was surprised by how many people hadn't heard of it. So I will share it with you guys, and uh, that way we shall all know the wonderful way to uh, pan around the world. Okay, so to do this is really, really simple. Let me walk you through it. All you want to do is start up a single-player game as any country in any save you like. Make sure it's in normal mode, though. It cannot be an Iron Man mode save, or unfortunately, this will not work. We're going to just use the 1944 start as my favourite country, and this should be fine for the purposes of demonstrating it. It should work at any point in the game, on any mod, I think. I haven't done extensive testing to prove that, but I believe that is the case. So, open up the console, you do that with a different button depending on what kind of keyboard you have. If you're on the QWERTY keyboard, kind of standard British QWERTY keyboard, it's in the top left just under escape. There's a wiki page in the description which will tell you exactly which key you need to use on your type of keyboard to open up the console. Once you've got the console open, you're going to want to type this in here, what you can see in my console here. Enable underscore game underscore controller. Make sure you spell that right or it won't work. And once you've done that and hit enter, you can see that little message comes up saying console, the game controller enabled. If you misspell it, it'll give you a red unknown command. Once you've done that correctly, you can then use your controller to pan the camera around You're using the right and left joysticks uh, to move around. Right joystick does this kind of rotational motion. Left joystick goes left, right, zoom in, zoom out. So you can move around by panning and then zooming towards a location. And it's really fun to see the the topography this way. If you start using the mouse again, let's say you middle click and drag, or you, sorry, when you zoom, it resets. Middle click and drag looks like does still work, even when you're at a fun angle. That's good to know. Uh, if you hop into the terrain map mode, you can really start to get some pretty cool shots, like the Nile suddenly looking pretty cool if you get it at the right angle and that kind of stuff. A couple of other console commands that can make this more fun for you are uh, FOW, which turns off the fog of war, that means you can see all the units. You could turn on uh, TI, which is Terra Incognita, which just turns off, or if you want to put it back on again, the Terra Incognita, like that. There's also Debug No GUI, which is very good, it turns off the whole GUI and now you can pan around. And you can, if you look up, as you may have noticed in the corner, learn that the sky over Europa Universalis is actually stained red with the blood of our many world conquests. Sadly, I'm currently moving towards the sky, but you can't notice, because I think that's being rendered at an infinite distance. But you can pan all the way around the world. It does look quite cool on the terrain map mode. What I really like is that this, uh, the Tibetan plain here is being really clearly shown as you know, its relief becomes very clear. The uh, the elephants popping in there. Look at those Himalayas, they're so tall. It's awesome. I really like this, uh, the ability to do this. As you can tell, I'm not that good at controlling the camera like this. I haven't really played around with it as much as I would like. In order to turn the Terra Incognita uh, back on, sorry, the Terra, not the Terra Incognita, the uh, UI, if you hit your debug mode key twice, then hit up and enter, you'll re-enter the most command that you most recently inputted, which is the, one of the easier ways to do that. Let me just turn it back off again, have a look at the, uh, the political map mode. It does look cool. Let's go and take a look what this looks like in Mayo and Taxes. I want to see that map from some other angles. Okay, here we are in the Mayo and Taxes mod, and it does still work, which is excellent. And you can pan around this uh, very different map in the 1356 start and get a look at uh, all the situation going on. We can see pan over to the Red Turban Rebellion over here in the, uh, the eastern part of the map and really get see if we can get close to Ming as they begin their, their rise here. I do like that. We can get right in there and see these huge cities soon to be plundered as this rebellion goes on. We uh, hop back out a bit again. I think it's quite cool. The Himalayas are still my favourite part of this. Being able to kind of pan past these huge hills. Although if you look, they're actually different 
from the base game. At least they appear to be to me. They're less steep, more realistic in Mayo and Tactics, as one might expect with this wonderful overhaul mod. But there you go. There is the wonderful world of Mayo and Taxes as seen from our wonderful new controller mode. So if you want to do this for yourself, just follow the instructions. It's very easy. You do have to have a uh, game controller, which uh, you should all have because you need one to play Dark Souls. Um, oh, the sky is actually different in Mayo and Taxes. Oh, what the heck's going on there? Okay, interesting. A darker sky <laughs> looms over Mayo and Taxes. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. I'll just finish up by taking a look at taking a look at Italy here. God, that is fun, isn't it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped you. I hope some of you enjoy learning how to do this. It's obviously not that useful for main campaigns or anything, but it's kind of fun just to be able to pan across the Italian states here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.